Good evening and welcome to the next episode of Smoothie Quest. Today's smoothie is called the Chocolate Covered Strawberry Shake and it's got a lot going on. You, as you can tell from the prep that there's a couple different layers that you're, you're supposed to see. I think the chocolate was supposed to go to the bottom and the strawberries on top. And then we've got some chocolate. See this here where it dripped down the inside. That's a difference. Yeah. All right. Let's try this. Cheers. I got a few nibs in that one. I'm intentionally avoiding the nibs. I think it'll skew my opinion of it. Well, it's very smooth. It is very smooth. Very well blended. Yeah. It's actually a very good consistency. It's kind of heavy, but it's not thick, so it's filling. I'm getting strawberry and some vague sweetness. Yeah, because I know the way the, the kuma or the suma tastes, I can taste that in this because it has a hint of maple flavor mm. or maple essence. Yeah, that's it. And so I get the strawberry and that maple and then the nibs, which are really strong, which I, if you make this, don't go out and buy nibs to garnish this yeah. drink. If you have them and you want to because it's pretty, go ahead, but it's really a pain in the butt to chew them. I like them in general. I like when they're blended into a smoothie. Here, I don't feel like they're adding. Here, I feel like they're just something to crunch in your mouth, like a, like walnuts. It's like you might as well throw walnuts on top of it. I'm, yeah. not, I, I'm not getting a big taste from them um, in this. So this smoothie was actually very easy to prep because it had four powders. You just measured the powders and measured the frozen fruits and measured some two kinds of liquids. If you have pre-made cashew milk, we made fresh tonight. And it's all very simple. However, what you don't realize is how difficult it is to find the Yusan. Yusan powder. Yeah, yeah. Which is one of those beige yellow powders you saw on the plate. It's kind of a sweetener, one of those superfood found and proved sweeteners. Um, the only way, it was discontinued by the Navitas Natural as well as a lot of other companies and it's not carried by our local health food stores. So we had to order it online. The smallest quantity you could find powdered was eight ounces for like $25 which is really expensive. So the next best option was to find capsules with the powder in them, which is what we did. And then we popped them open and measured out the capsule contents. Um, that bottle was $10 and we used about three fourths of the capsules. So there is um, nearly $8 worth of powder from just that one. It's all superfoods. The it's Asan entirely superfoods. In that. Then there's the maca, the lakuma, the cacao. Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt. I went out and got the extra. Himalayan salt for this. Um, and uh, I don't know. It's It doesn't really, it doesn't taste different. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just kind of a little, I'm a little perturbed by the recipe because it calls for so many sweeteners. It's like all the most like weird ingredients you can imagine. Or, they're, all, they're gonna, all, yeah, all, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. They're going to cost you to go yeah. find. I mean, if you need an alternative sweetener, <coughs> excuse me, then by all means you probably have that. But the lacuma and the yasan are both sweeteners. The yeah. recipe also said it was optional to use stevia, which is a third type of sweetener. And there's the um, vanilla, which is kind of like inherently yeah. kind of sweet. So it was just, it was a little intense. And strawberries are sweet. It was, it was like a real adventure to get all the ingredients. It was like a scavenger hunt, like a crazy scavenger A month long hunt. process. Yeah. That's why it's taken so long to make this video. Which tastes good. What were you reading about the Yasan? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a, <clears throat> um, it helps as a, uh, it helps with constipation, and they called it, uh, there was a Swiss study that found it greatly accelerated colonic transit. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's a great expression. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's supposed to be a prebiotic that, you know, helps cultivate good bacteria in your digestive tract. tract. Also, what I'm realizing is this is probably an excellent stimulant. Maca, which is one of the powders in here, is known to be kind of a coffee or caffeine replacement if you're interested in getting off coffee and you want to go to a superfood. And it has a ton of other good things about it as well. So you got the maca in there, and the cacao, and the cacao nibs, which are very concentrated, and all the sugar sweeteners. So I have a feeling we're going to be up pretty late tonight. Is it, how good is this, do you think? I like it, actually, how it's yeah. different. 
It is. It's got like a smooth, it different taste. I feel like it's gonna be like a banana thing when I when I smell it, and then it's not. And like it surprises me every time I try. Yeah. This reminds me also of uh, if you let banana split ice cream melt, um, this is what you end up with in the bottom of your uh, cup of ice cream. It's kind of an underwhelming flavor. It's it's I'm, that that banana thing gets me every time, but it's not like. And I can keep drinking it, but it's not like, um, we've had very amazing smoothies here, and mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think this is like too great for taste. So on that note, this was the final recipe from the Live Fresh cookbook, which comes free with your, well, comes as part of your package with your Turbo Blend VS blender. Um, so we've been really excited to review all the smoothies in that book and juices and cocktails and everything else that came with it. I guess we'll, you know, continue to explore recipes on the, in addition to the Live Fresh Cookbook, and feel free to give us feedback if you try any of the ones we've already talked about.